Her name's Honey. She is, um, she's a mutt. She's a Ridgeback Shepherd Pit mix, as far as I can tell. I got her from the um, Gaines Street Animal Shelter in San Diego. We like made eye contact and she was just the cutest sweetest thing I'd ever seen you know there was a police report it was a pretty thick it was a thick folder of stuff for an eight-month-old dog she was taken away from um, her owner because of abuse so I've like hypothesized that like maybe she was some type of a bait dog or you know just maybe abused by everybody that tried to um, adopt her she was the perfect dog for the first month or so. Started showing some like real, real serious issues, you know, just very protective, um, you know, would guard things, would bark and growl and, you know, scared. She was always scared of everything, but more in a submissive way, like just obvious, obvious physical, emotional trauma. So after about three or four trainers, I just kind of started to manage it. She was booted out of her daycare for like not even being prompted, she would just kind of like pounce on a dog. And she has definitely been able to cause harm on other dogs. She just kept pro progressively getting worse and worse and worse. And I, there was nothing, nothing I was doing, none of the training was helping. So then I met my, who is now my husband, like she was always on edge, always staring at him, would, you know, go to lunge him, would nip at him, you know, bark, growl, all that stuff. When he would come home, she doesn't feel safe around men. She's always, she has, she's always been scared of men. And I just assumed that she would get over it. Like, why wouldn't she? That's when we started to try to work on increasing their bond. He would walk her, he would feed her. He would do all the fun things and everything. He did a group training class with her. In the meantime, I'm talking to vets, I'm talking to trainers, I'm reading things, I'm doing everything. Acupressure, changed her diet completely. She has her own room at her house. You know, she has essential oils going and calming music playing all the time in her room. You know, anything I could do. You know, I, did, I don't really know what else to do. And in the meantime, now I just manage it. Like I keep them separate. You know, Joe, I don't know what he wants. Like, I don't think he, he doesn't want to deal with it anymore, but I don't have a choice. Like, I'm not just going to take her to a shelter and have her euthanized. Like, I wouldn't be able to live with myself. I can't give her to somebody or some place or something where I know that she's not going to be safe. Mm -hmm. I just can't. And if he won't put up with that, I mean, he'll leave me. You know, if he, he will, like, and I, I can't, I can't kill her. I can't. Cause that's what I think. I think of it as like, if she goes to a shelter, she'll be euthanized. I want her to be with me. Obviously I would be doing all of this, but, um, I don't want to lose my husband. <laughs>